Have you ever noticed the difference between how you feel towards the end of a long poker session compared to the start? I don't know about you, but for me, it's usually a world of difference. At the beginning of each session, I feel fresh, motivated, and I'm hungry to play my A game and make the best decisions I can possibly make. However, a few hours in, I often notice how my whole demeanor starts to deteriorate and my desire to engage in confrontations which requires a lot of brain power, seems to diminish. Instead of actively making decisions, I seem to fall back on some sort of autopiloting mode where I base my decisions on decisions I made in the past. So what is going on here? Why am I feeling this way? And why do I always seem to fall into the same pattern over and over? Well, I actually spent a lot of time researching this phenomenon because it didn't make sense to me. I've always prided myself on my professional approach in terms of mental and physical preparation by prioritizing sleep, nutrition, and exercise. So how come my overall stamina for operating at a high level appears so low? I found that there's actually a term for what I was experiencing, and it's something called decision fatigue. The idea is that after you made a bunch of decisions in a row, your overall ability to continue making decisions becomes worse. In fact, research has shown that the more time you spend on making choices, the more confused and hesitant you will become and the less energy you will have to take action and persevere in the face of challenges. Making choices depletes your energy level and you're more likely to allow trivial factors to bias your behavior. You're also more likely to stick with what you already know potentially ignoring better options. And by the way, this isn't something that's unique to poker but I immediately realized how accurate the description was to what I was experiencing and how applicable it was to a long poker session. This also explained why I often struggle to make even the simplest decisions on a Monday, like what shirt to wear or what to have for breakfast following a long Sunday session. While things finally started to fall into place, I realized that I was much more prone to feeling this way when I was playing a multi-table online session uh, compared to when I was just playing one live tournament. Since the more tournaments I register, the more tables pop up, which ultimately forces me to make more decisions. Throughout my poker career, I had frequently had sessions where I played more than 20 tables at the same time, simply because I feared of missing out on value. And while this may be true, I completely neglected the fact that for every tournament I add, my overall EV suffers on all tournaments because there's just no way I'll be able to pay as much attention to every action. And what's worse, by the end of the session, when I'm down to just one or two tables, I'm now at a stage where the results in these tournaments will dictate the overall outcome of my entire session. But at this stage, I've depleted my ability to make the best decisions and therefore there's no way my performance will be as good. Once I realized this, I shifted my mindset and I drastically scaled down on the numbers of tables I would play simultaneously. This little adjustment had a significant impact not only on the tournaments I played, but it improved my overall stamina throughout an entire tournament series. I started to become more conscious about my decision-making bank, sort of uh, treating it as a time bank where it makes sense to save it for the most important decisions at the later stage of the tournament. Whereas before, I would literally waste a lot of energy by overcomplicating decisions during the deep stack part of the early levels, despite those pots not being worth nearly as much. Decision fatigue is not just for online poker. When you're playing live, you're actually faced with a lot of other decisions that aren't necessarily poker related. It could be stuff like what to wear, how to get to the casino, how to buy into the tournament, what to have for dinner, and so on. I personally try to limit these decisions as much as possible by making them the night before, or even coming out with a standard approach so I don't have to think about them every time I go to play live. And this is the same reason why Mark Zuckerberg or Steve Jobs wore the same t-shirt day in and day out. They didn't want to start each day by wasting a decision on something so trivial when it could potentially prevent him from coming up with the next revolutionary tech innovation later that day. Before my WSFP main event final table, I actually planned my whole routine a week before. From the moment I woke up, I knew I would do some meditation and some yoga before hitting the gym. And once I got back from the gym, 
I had pre-ordered breakfast, so it was waiting for me at that specific time. I had laid out my clothes the night before. I didn't open any messaging or social media apps. I knew who was taking me to the Rio and at what time we were leaving. I simply didn't want anything to interfere with my ability to perform that day. And of course, my performance is highly dependent on my decision-making ability. Needless to say, it's easy to stay motivated when you're playing for a main event title, but whenever you're playing a tournament with less significance, you will eventually get bored, especially if you're used to playing high-paced multi-table tournaments online. And what do you do when you get bored? You pick up your phone. Oh, it's on me? And once that happens, it's usually game over. You start browsing social media, you interact with your group chats, you start researching something that you just thought about and so on. And while you're doing all of that, you're constantly making decisions and overloading your brain on information, all which will affect your ability to perform on the tournament that you're actually playing. And trust me on this one, guys. If you can resist the urge to pick up your phone for an entire day as you're playing, you will guaranteed have better focus, more energy, and it will lead to you ultimately making better decisions. I will take it as far as stating that if you manage to stay off your phone, you've actually gained yourself another edge versus the entire field. Because let's face it, 99% of people are so addicted to their phones that they won't be able to resist that urge and pay attention. And at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, right? We want to make the best decisions possible. But in order for us to do so, we need to pay attention and be conscious about our decision-making ability. If you found this video valuable, please hit that like button, share it with your friends, so we can all be more conscious about how we spend our decisions throughout the day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe.